Okay, I've got something a little different tonight. I've got a, a chain of several of my projects put together um, to show what I've been working on, trying to connect the dots with what I've learned and studied on these different projects. This is my stubble fuel coil, a little miniature that's running, still running. I just had to put a little water on it today to get it to run again, and it's running on its own. Uh, right next to it is a jewel thief that's not running, and it's in series with an extra power boost coming over here from a supercapacitor that is uh, being charged by a solar cell from this lamp right here in my house. And this circuit here is an on-off circuit. And when there's light here, it's charging the supercapacitor. When the light gets turned off, the, the energy in the supercapacitor feeds through the jewel thief and adds extra power to the cell fuel coil. The stubble fuel coil is running off of the stubble fuel coil right now. It's not being fed by that circuit. The circuit's turned off. This is the voltage on the supercapacitor right there. And uh, like I say, right now it's being charged with just the light from that lamp. And what I'm working on here is I want to make an on-off switch for my favorite project here, which is the um, Slayer Exciter and I'm using this uh, quite a bit now even in the house and I'd like to make an automatic on off for that light so that's why I'm working on this project here but uh, let me show you what happens when I take the light off of the solar panel dual thief comes on and the stubble field coil starts speeding up you probably hear this Also see the light. This is the light from the uh, back spike on the uh, booster coil of that little stubble field coil. What's happening right now is the energy is flowing out of the supercapacitor through the jewel thief and adding extra power to the stubble field coil pulse motor. You can see it's draining down the supercapacitor, but it doesn't drain down very fast. But this is kind of the arrangement I'm trying to work for um, on my light over there. Something like this that would go on and off automatically. Now you can go over and study this circuit that I'm using at the energetic form at the um, solar powered dual thief circuit thread. And that's where we're studying these automatic on off circuits. And we turn this off, you'll see it go off. There it goes off, on, off. I'm just covering this up and down. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is my latest project. This is an on-off automatic uh, solar-powered um, combination circuit.